Welcome to the Cal Poly Humboldt Digital Laboratory Show. paintings are essentially silent and still. The most obvious way of manipulating them is by using movement and sound. Right now is a really interesting time because you no longer have those obstacles. So all that energy that you used to put into fighting those obstacles and fighting the obstacles of people trying to come together and be collective, all that energy, all that brain trust just goes into, okay, let's figure out intellectually how to stay together, how to use all our intellectual, you know, mind to make, you know, have the business person work, the legal person work, you know, the sociologist help the filmmakers figure it all out. So for me, that's why this time is interesting. The idea of coming up with an aesthetic is more possible now because now you can talk about breath because I've always felt like well bro I just feel like musically like in the big picture like you kind of have to like create an image for yourself you know facts in order to be profitable facts key jewel number one go back a slide if you can it's all good is Irony is a tool for modern creativity. There's a reason why we are probably all look at like 60 memes a day. You know, that was an invention of humor. I can't prolificate this idea of bad design, but the only thing with that, modern culture thrives off the ironic. So that's, put that in your notes. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> but literally like humor, but taking that a step further, whether you're building or whether you're making graffiti or whether you're making a proposal, humor is a entry point for humanity. <laughs> yeah, nobody's ever asked me that. Um, well, obviously when you find images, so-called found images, they come with their own um, I like to say quantum tethering, like they are connected relationally to all kinds of other things when they come to you, mm. as opposed to I take a picture of you. I might have certain feelings about you, but the image itself is, you know, it's a fresh thing. And so there's something really interesting about repurposing an image as opposed to making an image. easier to be a critic than to produce work. I'm using clothing, graphic design, music, to sort of highlight the attention on great designers. You have to grow with your community that you're building. Exactly, you know I mean? so yeah. they can, Because that's the consistency of image, you know, you gotta grow right. with the people.
It's important to think about the interconnectedness between designers and thinkers instead of trying to find a, a space that you can occupy by yourself. In our, in our most infant eras of design, straight out of school basically, being able to brand content that shapes a generation is not a small thing. Our influence amongst each other, you know, is at a heightened experience now, and I feel like that's central to my work. It's, it has to be open source in a way. It's pointless if it's about me. So it's incredibly broad and diverse, but at the same time, nevertheless, there's something at the core of it that's kind of um, unmistakable. It's become mysterious again because of its market value. And this market value depends upon it being genuine. And now it is here like a relic in a holy shrine. Thank you for tuning in to the Digital Laboratory Show.